Hey you guys, Mary from SVG Cuts here, and I'm really excited about our really nice new graduation SVG kit. And if you know someone who's graduating this summer, or this spring, this is really, really gonna come in handy. And I think the coolest part of this kit is definitely this three-dimensional little graduation cap, mortar board, whatever you wanna call it. And you can totally make this in these traditional colors or obviously in your school's colors. Like my school colors were blue and gold, so that's how I would do it for my school. So it's gonna be really fun. People are gonna be really impressed. And I think it'd be like the talk of the party if you brought one as a gift or if you made a whole bunch of them for party favors. So love it, love it. And you can make it on any mat size. I made the tassel myself too, which I will show you how to do. I'll show you how to put this whole thing together. And then the other cool part is that you can make a card to take with, which can either hold a gift card like this or money, which is you know traditional graduation gifts. So I thought those were really good ideas. That was Leo's idea actually, since it's a traditional gift to bring. Then we've also got this really cool little gift box, which I tried to make really simple and elegant and classy, which I think goes really well with the whole graduation thing. So I didn't want to embellish everything too much or make it too cutesy. I wanted to keep it really elegant and simple because I think that's the perfect look to give graduation stuff. So you could put anything obviously in this little decorative box and of course you can use it with any other theme like different colored papers. So I'm going to show you how that goes together and I, I cut out some fun flowery papers just to give it a different look for when I show you how it goes together. And for all of the projects that have a year on them, obviously you've got your 2012, but I also included 2013 through 2016, so you can apply it to the future also. And then finally we have a really cute little mini album, which is also just simple, classy. It's got some gold on here, which makes it look more elegant. And you can put a cute little picture in here, and you can use this little photo template with your cutting machine to make sure that your machine cuts the picture out at the perfect size. So I've got a different video that shows how to use your machine to cut the picture out. So click over here to watch that separate video for that. But as far as the rest of the pictures in the album go, they are just four by six pictures in here. So it's nice and simple, clean looking. And if you imagine it with your school colors and your pictures in there, it's gonna be like really meaningful and really special. So that will be a really special gift for someone. So one other thing for me that was new this week is I have been trying out this brand new glue, which is really, really like safe and completely non-toxic. It's actually so safe that you could actually eat it. Not that I would, but it's just good to know. Because, <laughs> you know, they say anything that goes onto your skin that's like a liquid um, actually absorbs through your skin into your body. So you do kind of want to like be concerned a little bit with what is in your glue. So if you're just an occasional crafter and you hardly glue that much stuff at all, I wouldn't really worry too much about it. But if you are like me and you glue like several times a week, maybe think about picking up some safer glue because this stuff definitely has formaldehyde in it, which I looked online at the ingredients on the website. And if you just wanna do a Google search and just pull up some facts about formaldehyde, just to see for yourself like the studies that are out there, if it's, you know, a little bit dangerous, possibly. So just something to think about. So I'm definitely going to be using this a lot more going forward. The one thing I noticed is that it doesn't quite dry as quickly as the Scotch 3M stuff. So if you have just a couple extra minutes to work on your project, you can definitely use it. You just need to hold it a little bit longer while it dries, which is really no problem. And this is by Eco Green Crafts, and it's just called All Purpose Green Glue. And they have a website, just do a search for Eco Green Crafts. And I also heard that you can buy it on Amazon too. So it's pretty cool. And as far as today's video goes, I'm just gonna be using the Scotch 3M because I just wanna speed things along and not keep you guys waiting while I'm holding stuff while it dries. So that's pretty much it. Let's sit down and get started. So the paper that I used for this kit was actually the Black Current Stack by DCWV because it's really elegant and it has some nice like floral swirls and stuff. And obviously I just used the, the black and white papers and not the pink. So that works really well for traditional graduation colors. Or I also used a couple of pieces from this Luxury Stack by DCWV because it's also just real elegant looking. So if your school colors are in there, that's gonna be 
a go-to stack for this. But really anything that is just real elegant, just plain cardstock or just anything where it's like black with, you know, a slightly lighter color like that, like two-tone but similar colors, I think is really going to work. So first, let's just take a quick look at our cute little diploma here. And just to add a little bit of dimension, I have just made it so that you take it and all you do is just bend it around where it is scored. And then I just took a little dimensional dot here. I've got some of these from American Crafts. And I just took some of these little, little tiny ones and I just put one on each little thing. And then I, I put a little bow around it so it's nice and cute and three-dimensional. So now let's take a look at our cute little gift box here. And the bottom is a little different than the top, so let's just do this because it's simple first. Now I've already got my four sides all glued together here. And all I'm going to do is put some glue on these larger tabs. And I'm going to glue these all down so that the edge is nice and reinforced and sturdy. And then I'm just going to put some glue all the way around on these tabs here. And I'm going to put the larger the larger rectangle here, which is this one. I'm going to glue that down onto the top. And then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to glue this on the inside just to cover everything up and give it a nice finished look. So that's the lid. Let's take a look at the bottom. So here is our bottom and it's really just the same as the lid up here on the top and then this decorative piece on the bottom. So we've got two rectangles here. The smaller one, again, is the liner. We can set that aside. The bigger one is going to go on top of this piece here, which has these sides which fold up. And as you probably guessed, you're just going to fold these up and put a nice thin layer of glue all the way around on these tabs, all the way out to the corners so it's nice and even. And then I went a little crazy here with my choice of colors of paper, but it's, it's still cute. So then you're just going to put this larger rectangle down and just squish it around until the corners line up real nice and the edges line up real nice and that's going to form the bottom of your box. And then you're going to glue your four sides together like we did before and then just put glue on all these tabs here. And then you're just going to flip it over and do your best to get it right in the middle of your bottom part. So if you need to squish it over a little bit just to line it up, make sure it's nice and even. And then as you probably guessed, the liner just goes right in there to finish it off. So here we have our graduation album. And to make the pages, all you're going to do is glue four layers of the page shape on top of each other four or three. Actually for mine I only did three layers thick and it's really nice and sturdy. So there's this paper and then there's this paper. In between them there's one more piece of paper. So all I did was just put a nice thin even layer of glue in there and I just lined it up real nice. And if you feel like yours is not smooth around the edges you can always take a little piece of sandpaper and just rub that around the edges. And then all you're going to do is just put your photo mat down and your photo and there you go. Alright so for our cute little graduation hat, I made my tassel out of embroidery floss and I kind of had an idea of how I was going to do it and then just to double check I did a google search on how to make a tassel and the first video that popped up was super helpful. So here is how to make a tassel. For ours, I'm, I cut a 5x5 five five square of chipboard and then I scored it in half and folded it in half. And I made it the same size that I want my, the height of my tassel to be because we are just going to wrap a bunch of floss around and that just makes sure that it's all the same length. So like 8 to 10, 12, 20 times around, however thick you want your tassel to be. If you're making a lot of them, maybe you know don't use as much. So once you feel like you've got it wrapped around enough times, you can go ahead and cut it off even at the bottom. And then use this side that's open here to slide your scissors in. First let's actually slide 
a piece of the floss underneath and up here. And that's going to be used to tie it to the top of your graduation hat. So cut it off with <clears throat> plenty of room left to tie a knot and then cut it off. So maybe like five inches or so. And then now we can use our scissors here to cut the bottom. And now we can take it off and tie it in a knot. Actually, maybe I could have tied it in a knot before I cut it, but I'll be careful to not mess it up. So just tie it in a knot here, like this. And as you probably guessed, we're going to take another piece of floss and just wrap it around maybe like five or six times right here. So when you wrap it around, leave enough so that when you're done, you can trim it to the same length here. So I want it to be kind of long so that I can trim it. And then I'll just wrap it around like five times or so. And then I will trim it a little bit longer too. So then I can tie both ends in a knot. And once they are in a knot, I will trim it so that it's even with the bottom and just even up those ends down there. So our cute tassel is taking shape here. And now let's move on to the top of the cap and we'll tie this on in just a minute. So here we've got the pieces for the top of our hat. The, obviously this part is the main part of the top. And then we've got these little small circles and a standard size brad. So you are going to glue all these little donut shaped pieces together to form a thick piece. And then we're going to take the one piece that has the small circle in it and put a thin little ring of glue around so that you can glue all these on top of it. And that is going to form a little housing for your brad, which you can stick in there. And then we're just going to put some glue on here and glue this cover up piece on the top. So that forms a nice big button that we're going to use on the top of our hat. So the next thing we want to do is put this through the hole with the tassel and tie the tassel on. Because it's not going to be possible to put this on once we already have this all glued up. So go ahead and put that through the top of your hat. And I'm just going to loosely fold my brad out so it doesn't fall out. And then I'm going to put my tassel on. I think it looks good if you have it where it just starts to hang off the edge. So about that far. And then I'm just going to wrap it around. Maybe tie it in one knot first. Actually, yeah, let's tie it in a knot at the top first. And then we will, then we'll, we'll put it through and we'll tie another knot to hold it in place. So I don't think I have left quite enough floss up here. So mine's going to be a little bit shorter this time. So here we go. I've got like a messy little knot here and I'm going to loop that around and tie this in a knot up here. Then you want to get your scissors and just get inside there as best you can. Actually, I'm going to loosen up my brad so I can, I'm just going to pull my brad out and trim off those pieces. And don't want those showing at all. OK. All right, floss, come on. OK. So we've got it hanging off. Now we're going to put it through. And I'm going to push down pretty hard because we're good to go now. OK, so this next part is pretty obvious. These little pieces just get folded around. 
and then put a nice thin layer of even glue on that top tab all the way around and just close it up like this and hold it while it dries. So next we're going to form the rest of the top of the hat which is pretty much the same as the bottom. So I won't even show you the bottom because it's pretty much the same as the top here. So we've got our little circle and we've got this funky piece here. And I'm going to start by gluing the tab here on the end. I want to make sure my glue goes all the way to the edge. And I'm going to glue that around and close it up. And I'm just doing my best to make sure that these line up real nice and that this corner lines up with that little barely visible corner down there. And mine's a little bit messy, but yours, of course, will be much neater than mine here. And as that's drying, I'm going to hold it and I'm going to go ahead and fold over all of these little tabs. And I'm just going to put a nice even layer of glue around on all of these little tabs here. And you can take your time a little bit more than I am right now so that you get your glue all the way to the edge of each little tab real nice. And just work your way around. And then once I've got glue on all of these tabs, I am just going to flip over my top, which I haven't glued together, but you get the idea. I'm just going to take this and just place it right in the center of my hat here. And I just want to get it as best I can in the middle and just reach inside and push down on these little tabs while they dry. And then once that's dry, I'm going to take my little circle and I'm just going to glue that inside to finish it off and make it look a little nicer. So for the bottom, you've got the same two type of pieces. You're just going to glue this around and fold the tabs over and then just glue this on top of the tabs. And it just finishes off real nice like that. If you need to move it around to make sure it's nice and even while it's drying, go ahead and do that. And then put your goodies inside and you're good to go. So there you have it. Lots of super cool projects for graduation. So I hope you had fun watching, and if you make any of these, I would love to see them on our Facebook wall or in our forum. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time, and happy crafting. Learn more by visiting www.svgcuts.com. Don't forget to like us on Facebook and watch all of our crafty videos on YouTube. It's a world of crafty content, with you in the middle. SVGcuts.com, inspiring you to live creatively and beautifully.